kind of you to join me. Like, um, I like, cut your like a battle power on purpose, and that's why it's a scenario. It's not something you want to do. All right. And this is a nice start, right? Oof. Pyramid Shear Power is a lot of value. Hi, bro. <laughs> this is also another pair. Alright, I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back, guys. Rotate once. No, right. These are these cards are kind of fun too. Mm -hmm. What is this? A Kaboom butt and a Glyph Guardian. Huh? I could find better stuff. That's why, like another Ty Collar, the best. Wow. This Murloc went to the gym. Reno's a bit healthy. Ah, there you are. Force a full Murloc comp, yes or no? Could be safer. Your power can go on any minion, it's fine. This one? I did say any is fine, but I would prefer it on the uh, War Leader. Mm hmm, we know like a Sold Star early. Do we level Sully then? Take less damage, get stronger during the early mid game. We could just use our Hero Power to our advantage and play that way. If we're going for Murloc, then it's better to like, um, look for as much Murloc as possible. Ouch! <laughs> I guess we can level Sully. Pure mud doing pure mud stuff. We do need more attack damage. Your minions really pulled their weight. So level. Wow. <laughs> this tight call is having fun. Level up, roll once. No, no, level up, buy one, hero power again. Okay. Now these cards targets aren't really that good though from a hero power. Do you know how many babies it takes to make one a great streamer? Oh, thank you very much. Well, War leader can be more in the back. Here is fine enough though. Actually, wait, wait. These guys are gonna survive, right? I guess we'll put the rat back in the front. Did you play any differently for a lower MMR for easy ones or is strategy always the same? The strategy is always different based on the cards that are offered to you and the battle power of your opponents. <laughs> So if you were to apply that in lower MMR, the battle power is generally weaker because um, the composition is more random than like clean. In that in that case scenario, then um, then you can afford to play a bit more greedy. Here I leveled up a bit slowly. Just so like um just so we can keep getting value from your power. Hmm, mm, nice. Alright. If it's something like this, we can do it like this. Ouch. I do want these war leaders to get stronger though. Not the other way around. We've been hero power since round one. So we just want to keep on hero power along the way. And this is a lot of stops. Trading very well. This is a guy that rushed levels.
Okay. No damage on these minis yet. If you don't make the Cerere Spear mad. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do I do this right now, or do I wait a bit? <laughs> I could use this right now, right now. Not that bad. Or I could just hear power again. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we get with this. It does make a big tide, Hunter. That trade's much better. Life Fang, Razor Gosh, Hazel Schneider. Schneider seems to be the right choice here. Life Fang can also be acceptable, but I would prefer Schneeds. <laughs> Sneeze can also be a good target. The one on the rat pack. No! <laughs> all right, all right. Never mind. Never mind. Cancel that. Transition to dragons. <laughs> okay. I put Sneeze down on purpose, so it would hit the other minion. And Sneeze also a nice target because we can device shield, device shield taunt anyways. It's a big lad, right? It's like an annihilant early. No, think about it. So you can make your own annihilant every single game with the uh, with the pyramid. This guy's a bit strong, man. Ouch. Bad target. One, two, but we traded. This guy has a very strong, like, jump start early. He's gonna deal a lot of damage to his opponents. Ah, there you guys are. Do I want this Murloc? No, I want, I'd rather rotate and look for better stuff, right? <laughs> Roll twice and maybe look for a war leader potential. There you are. Your power. Rats! Pack. For those who don't know, he is called a rat pack. For those who don't know, like losing 2,000 never more happened for me like three times already in BG. Um, it happened like a... A million other times in the other game, Underlords. <laughs> so I'm used to it. It's an auto chess game. These these phases happen. Like, if it happened once or twice, I maybe we could panic and say, Oh, dude, we're losing MMR. What should I do? I, I, maybe I do that, but... Whew, it happened way too many times. <laughs> like, this phase like happens like way too much times for me. So, like, um, I guess I just got used to it. I guess my 200 MR loss feels bad, it's fine. <laughs> Ratback just wants to play. I guess he doesn't want to leave. <laughs> oh man. The biggest uh, factor in this like, um, game right now is hero difference. That is the biggest variation. You gonna get for tier 6 news? Uh, yes sir, right now we're gonna get for tier 6. Gas Koila, Nadina the Red, and Mama Bear. Hmm. Mama Bear sounds nice here. Alright, correction, Gas Koila sounds nice here, I mean. We sell you. Get that here power value on whatever. And just go for it. <laughs> yep, that is correct. Managing MR and Battlegrounds, managing a bank while managing playing poker. Like, if I was, um, if I really, really wanted to maintain a high MMR, and if I cared about that a lot, well, what I'd do is, as soon as I saw the Apache, when they uh, raised the M here at four choices, I would just make a smurf. And um, I will wait until that smurf reached around, like, um, 10k plus, like, a MMR. And I'll just, like, uh, rotate smurfs until, like, one is the higher. Usually that's the uh, way you want to play, like, save MMR. Like, there's, there's a lot more factors to preserving MMR than just playing the game itself, like, usually. That's also a factor that you can like them consider while doing it. <laughs> like if I really cared about MMR, but we don't care, so we're just gonna keep on playing like this. We're gonna keep experimenting some, some low tier heroes like Illidans, um, Shuttle. Um, Shuttle was not a low tier hero. 
like Illidan's, Professor Putrid's side, Lich King's. We're gonna keep on like um, keep on like testing those out. What about losing viewers? I will stream the same if I have 10. I always stream the same when I have 10 viewers. I'll always stream the same if I have 100 viewers. I'll stream the same if I have 1,000 viewers. I'll do exact the same thing if I have 10,000 viewers. If they're just here for the um, MMR, that is fine. Then I guess they can like watch some MMR plays, but like um, that's not like I'm um, everything for me. Mmm, the crowd's favorite. I used to have zero viewers like a year ago. I, mean, I don't really care that much about like losing, losing viewership. Oh, will she survive? All right. I'm only here for very face. I'll think you want. And viewers always come and go. You don't focus on like having too much viewers. Like, like, um, like eventually, like even if you have a lose streak, like eventually you'll get a win streak and then the viewers will come back if, if they're just here for that. Viewers come and go guys. No, to worry about that too much. Mm -hmm. This is also a pair of potential. It seems we can't find the um hmm. This is also a buff potential too. Let's see what this gives me. I could have waited for a brand too, but I felt like this would have happened. <laughs> Poison the one with the HP. This mer this is also a good target, but I feel like the one with the higher HP would have been much more better to go for. I don't want the rat to get it, so let's put this down too. <laughs> Rats! Alright. That rat dude. Buff back. Okay, you know what? We'll sell him. Alright, we're gonna sell him. Right, we, we gotta sell this guy's off. The rats are innocent, alright. Poison. <laughs> He's your friend. We gotta sell him. If he really was my friend, you know what would have happened, right? He wouldn't have stolen my buffs, dude. Right? He would have shared. Hmm, looks a bit close. Dangerously close. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, another one. Fire Gurgles at the ready. I rather prefer to have them in my shop, though. Right. My friend also takes all my potato chips. I know, right? Those friends. Even if you sell him, he's gonna steal the buffs. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Murazon. Who was my previous opponent? I forgot who my previous opponent was. Shuttlebox? Wait, is my deck tracker not on? Whoops. Uh, I forgot what he had. Oh, well. <laughs> Leaper. Lurty wants more. Alright, you're gonna go, bro. You're gonna go. Draconoid. Mm. Right. It's not that strong, so I'm not really that happy about it, but we can maybe go for like this. Mm, now we're gonna fall off. Our hero power is not gonna do much. Maybe we should just level to six after this and try to look for mackerel, correct mackerel, and then get some Okay. Oh, hmm, that is correct. Three dragons means that he might have a divine shield taunt. Maybe I should reposition a bit. Never mind. He's got a mackerel. Oh, he's dead. Poor guy. Ouch. Wow, Goldrin. Mm -hmm. Punch him down, punch him down. Do you think it would have been better to if golden minions like Kangor Sneeze spawn golden minions instead of double the initial number? That'd be more fun. I would like that. Since there is no like a board space for those anyways, makes sense. I think that's a very fun idea to go for. No. Oh. We got him. Do you want to use our hero power? Or do we want the gold instead? We're gonna sell the Shneeze for a Megasar if you find something like a Megasar in the end. So I could just buy him right now. Sell the Shneeze, buff it up. 
it'll save me three, four gold, four gold in total if I do that. Mm, Alright. Clean pump. We can also go for the full transfers to Murlocs if we um, have, but we really need the HP value. We need um, Cold Lyceas and and so on, just to survive his juggles. Let's see if you can stay on top. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose at least two fights against Nas Tournament though. Oh man, this guy's wrong. Oh wait, no, only only one Death Bomb minion, never mind. That's not even golden. No. There's a lot of bombs there. Okay, never mind, that's a lot of bombs. Oh, never mind, that's good. No, you suicided! He <laughs> guess I lose to him. Yowch. Mm. Huh. <laughs> Let's get America. Yep, it's a baby annihilant that has poison. Ouch. Let's hope we don't die to him. I actually could just die one shot to him, that's why I'm worried about it. I could annoy him out of this. Megasaur. You're gonna go too. Megastar is gonna work. We are going to device upon this minion. We will go for you. I guess we give everything point. We need more HP now. now. Divine shield. Actually, these guys being in the front sounds much more nice. Mm -hmm. Red table. Strong shells. Zap. Alright, that could be nice. No, he didn't win yet. He has jugglers. This might be better. Kill the uh, poison taunt if he buffed it up. We buy you, you, you. No, no, buy you, you. Rotate. The Crane play with Zap? Zap works. Man. We'll go for the Zap then. Zap the Shoot him down, shoot him down. Alright, poison. This is gonna take a while, but we'll do it. <laughs> Let's see. Buy you, buy you, sell you, rotate. Mackerel. Mackerel could be useful later. Don't need him now, though. I don't need Mackerel to win this game. No, I don't. And this is much more important. Wind Fury. My attacks can't be a bit delayed, huh? I just realized my cleave minion is going to be a bit delayed. Maybe this is better. Needs to attack first. Mm, the cleave's not that important to go off first, that's why. Like, it feels important that I can go for it, but... It's not that important at all. We can replace this next round because he's going to play around it. So we're going to sell it, rotate for more buffers. And once the uh, Fur Reaper hits like 16 damage, that should be enough to one-shot most minions. We can put it in the front. We'll see how this goes. Will he sell the golden jubla? <laughs> Small jubla and big jubla. No, close. Youch. Poison's doing work though. My ex Oof. Strike and strike. Alright, GG. 
So this was a pyramid game where things went out well within their like tide hunter triple. The tier one triple is very useful during the early mid game for not taking damage and actually scaling into late because Murlocs do have a very good potential future um, into the mid late game too. So it helps you survive to that state. If we didn't find Murlocs, and let's say if you went for a micro machine, then I guess we would just go for a top four scenario with um, after we hit level like um, four or five and try to look for annoying modules or micros to survive. All right.